So this is problem 545, and we're looking here to design an op amp circuit. We're looking to design an op amp circuit to perform the following operations. So we want V naught is equal to 3.5 V1 minus 2.5 V2 here. So all resistances must be less than 100 kilo ohms. So no resistors bigger than 100 kilo ohms. So let's start. Um, I think the easiest way to perform this operation is by using a summing amplifier. So you remember the summing amplifier here. And what we have in this case is we do not have V3. We do not have V3 here or R3. So this is not part of the equation that we're looking at. So if we want to perform this math here, we need RF divided by R1 to equal 3.5. So we can choose whatever we want, and I'm just going to choose RF is equal to 35 kilo ohms which then makes R1 10 kilo ohms. Easy enough. Now let's move on to this here. We know then RF divided by R2 must equal 2.5. And we put in 35 kilo ohms to RF, our feedback resistor, and R2 is then comes out to be 14 kilo ohms. So this is our circuit that we've solved for. So let's draw that quick. So here we have our first resistor, and then we have a second resistor. And all both of those come into the op amp. Draw the op amp. And then we have the follower, or the, I'm sorry, the feedback resistor, the feedback resistor here. And then that gives us V out over here, which is equal to our 3.5 minus, or 3.5 V1 minus 2.5 V2. And we must put this one then to uh, ground. And this is, R1, which is 10 kilo ohms. This one is 14 kilo ohms. And this one here is 35 kilo ohms. But we must take a look at this equation here. So see this negative sign here? That means that this this equation here to get a positive 3.5, this is supposed to be positive and this negative. To get a positive, this needs to be negative V1 that we bring in here. And this needs to be V2. Okay, so this kind of works. It kind of works, but I think we can add on to this to make it better, make it better. So if you take a look at our another thing we went through, we have an inverting amplifier. So this changes the sign here of, of our input voltage. So we want R1 and R2 to be the same. So let's just put them, we could put them at uh, 10 kilo ohms. And this one is equal to 10 kilo ohms. So we have V out is equal to negative V1 because this ratio is one. Okay. So let's add that on right here. Let's add that on. Let's add another op amp here. 
So adding that on, we have uh, another op amp. And here we have our resistor and then a feedback resistor here. And this is 10 kilo ohms. And this is 10 kilo ohms. And then we have this attached to ground as well. And then this here can be our V1. And then that makes this negative V1 here. And then we get this solution. So by using an inverting amplifier and a summing amplifier, we can s solve this problem here.